Hey, what's up guys? I'm back with another acne video and this video, you know, this video is going to be basically me talking about how veganism doesn't necessarily lead to a clear face. You know, I haven't given an acne update in a long time, but basically I tried going on this vegan diet for about, I went on it for about three weeks. And honestly, when people think you're going vegan, they assume green, they assume plants, they assume you're eating nothing but plants really like I saw on Twitter the other day where someone said, man, how can someone be vegan? Like, imagine getting, you know, being drunk and going home and all you're eating is broccoli. And people, honestly, you need to understand that there's dairy-free options for everything now. There's dairy-free cheesecake, ice cream, there's meat patties, there's cream cheese, there's yogurt, there's milk. A lot of things that are dairy-free alternatives. And they're just as unhealthy for you as the regular thing because it's high in fat, high in sugar, or something else. And I guess I just wanted to let people know that if you're looking at veganism to help clear your skin, you know, that's that's all fine. You know, you could do that, and I'm not t telling you not to. I guess this, the point of this video is to kind of show you that just turning vegan doesn't clear your acne. Because for me, if you guys saw, I did a video where I said diet changes can cause your acne. And I, feel, I still feel like that's true. Like, I don't eat dairy. I don't eat soy. I try not to eat oil. And even if I do, it'll be like a small amount. And it's when I have nothing else to eat and I'll do it. But basically, if you're thinking about going vegan, you should also consider about your personal triggers for yourself. Because certain foods might trigger you, but not other people. So for instance, a high fat diet might trigger someone with acne. So if you're eating stuff like peanut butter, turkey, beef, hummus, stuff with high fat content, and you're thinking, oh, I'm a vegan now, like I'm not eating dairy, I'm not eating all the bad stuff. But then again, you're also eating things that could could be triggering, you know, you never know unless you try. But that's what I found with me. And in all honesty, if I'm being serious right now, I don't really know the complete guideline for myself even. Like I don't know what exactly breaks me out because there were some times where I was like on my diet and I'll get a pimple one day and I couldn't explain it. I was like, I'm actually following the diet. I don't know why I'm getting acne. So it's really tough. I know acne is really hard to deal with. I don't think anyone ever fully gets rid of their acne. Like any people will still find, people will still have acne some sort of way. Probably not as bad as they had it if they try something different with their skin, whether it's uh, a new skincare routine or a new diet. I think if you try something different, it could help, but it won't get rid of it completely. And I just wanted to give a quick update on myself and my skin because my skin isn't clear whatsoever. I mean, it's not terrible, but you can tell I have acne. And, you know, there's some days where, like, I wake up and I find a new pimple or I go to sleep and I feel a new pimple and I'm like, and it's the painful ones too. So it's tough because I don't really know what's going on. Like, you know, it sucks because you can't really know what's causing your acne. Like, you can kind of get a feel of what causing it by you know by experimenting with your food and trying different things maybe changing your sheets maybe trying a different product maybe going uh, oil free with your shampoo or something something different but yeah there's a lot of there's a lot of causes for acne and it honestly is it honestly is a bitch to deal with because you don't really know what's causing it and sometimes you're left wondering man what's what am I gonna do to give an example, I was I bought this book called The Clear Skin Diet. It's by Nina and Randa, these twins, these twins on YouTube that cleared their skin with a low-fat carb starch diet, really. So they eat a lot of potatoes, a lot of starches, pasta, rice, bread, and vegetables, a lot of vegetables. And they don't eat a lot of high-fat high fat foods. But at the end of the day, you know, something like that won't really... At the end of the day, there's certain other vegans who don't get affected at all by those types of foods so like peanut butter, hummus, coconut oil, things with high fat content or that are with oil, they won't get affected by it. Who knows why? And that's with me. Like I I know for a fact dairy causes me acne. Like I've gotten a pimple any every time I've eaten something with dairy the next day. Soy, this happened the same thing. Oil, same thing. But I don't know, maybe there's one other thing I'm missing, but gosh man, it's really tough. And I wanted to give a quick 
tip to anyone. I mean, don't also give up, you know? Don't also feel like you're defeated if stuff doesn't work. Like, I'm still not gonna give up on my skin. Um, I'm still gonna continue to try new things and take out things, put things back in. And if it works, good. If it doesn't, then, you know, it sucks, but you gotta keep trying because, you know, you can't let it defeat you. You can't let acne dictate how you're gonna feel the rest of the day, how you're gonna look at people, because I know when you have acne, you don't feel like going out, you don't feel like talking to people, you don't feel like looking them in the face. And I know it's tough, I've been there. That's why, you know, people with that can have to try harder. And I know it sucks, but you just have to do it. And, you know, hopefully one day you'll find something that works for you. And I hope it does happen. Yeah, I guess that's it, guys. Um, I, I'm uploading a Cholo skit this Thursday, so be on the lookout for that. I'm really excited for you guys to see that. I think it's really funny. And it's probably the hardest working video I've ever... It's probably the video I've worked the hardest on with the amount of editing, the amount of reshoots I've done. And I really hope people like it. I just hope you guys like it. So that'll be all out for Thursday. And until then, my name is Ozzy, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.